Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Unsealed Legends. We have got an Espeon 10 today. I found one at the local Walmart, and look at that purple. Look at that color. It just caught my eye. I had to get it. Like I said, it was the only one. I've been pretty disappointed in how everywhere I go, it seems uh, everything is out of stock. It's It's gotten up. Nothing's been restocked. But then again, I have a small local area. Everything's got just small little sections. Let me know in the comment. Uh, does your Walmart, Target, all of them, does it have a uh, big Pokemon section? Because mine are very, very small. All right. And we also, I found this at the Target. We've got a Snorlax, uh, more Pico, and Appline. Appline? Appline? How do you say that? Let me know in the comments. Appline. Uh, little uh, booster pack set. You get two booster packs in this. And you get a promo card. And two hollows from uh, two different sets here. So, I found this at the Target. They had a bunch of them. It says it's from 2020. So, I had to go ahead and scoop up a couple of them. So, it's already a few years old. Won't be long before something like this you're not going to see on the shelf anymore. You're not going to see anywhere. But yeah, let's dive right in. We got a... Uh, this comes with a Chilling Rain booster pack. And... Man, I got to really... I got to really work on my pack opening skills. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying, to not, trying not to bust open the cards. Uh... Yeah, there we go. There we go. The Snorlax. That was looking really good. That's what caught my eye. It had a really nice hollow tint on it. Um, Look at that. Black Star promo. Did you guys, did anybody get the Charizard uh, boxes that have been coming out? They're mad expensive. Uh, they're like 120 bucks. Uh, only, only comes with... 16 packs i mean that's a lot of packs but for 120 bucks is it really all right we got a nice more peco more pico there <laughs> getting at the apple it seems like in both of these cards uh snorlax and more pico are eating apple and they're just they're just trying to get a little snack but they don't realize they're about to get a pokemon battle on uh Yeah, this is what caught my eye. Yeah, look at him reaching, uh, picking out of the apple trees. There we go. 2020 card right there. Not bad, not bad. It got some bend on it, but that won't be a problem. Here we go. So we, all right. So we got a Chilling Rain, and it ended up being a Fusion Strike. And I'm just going to dive right into the Chilling Rain. Here we go. What is the card in this set that you're looking for the most? Let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, what is your favorite set in Sword and Shield so far. It seems like Sword and Shield, they they were all gas, no breaks on this set. They put so many sets out in the Sword and Shield era. Heracross, we got a Sobble. All right. Here we go. Non hollow. Oof. All right. So this pack was uh this was nine ninety nine at the store. I think it was a good deal. Two hot two foil cards, one promo card, and two packs nine ninety nine. Not a bad deal. All right. Let's get to this fusion strike pack. And like I said, when I get to a thousand subs, when we get to a thousand subs, I'm gonna be giving out the code cards to every single pack I pull. So make sure you subscribe and turn all the notifications on for future content. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, was this? Oh, oh, what are you gonna do there? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, okay. We got a Genesect uh, V card there. Man, I love the hollow when they put it in the eye, and you can see it's just a just good looking card. All the V cards are really good, good looking, but. 
I don't know. Are there a lot of super valuable V cards out there? It seems like uh, most of them, most of them fetch a lower than high price. From what I've seen, let me know if I'm dead wrong. Uh, all right, let's get to this uh, Espeon box here. I keep wanting to say Umbreon, but Espeon. I just did the Umbreon 10 opening. You're gonna have to go uh, check my channel and go watch that opening. All right, but for now we get the Espeon 10. I love the color on this 10. It's really captivating. It's really, it really just made me want to uh, pick this out and purchase it. All right, there we go. Had to open that off camera so I didn't make a turn it into a big confetti show opening the box. All right, go ahead and sleeve that out before I get some scratches on it. Look at that, no scratch, just so shit, just oof. Perfect, no scratches, nothing. Man, how how disappointed are you uh, finding some uh, cards from your childhood, uh, the older cards, and you just see how scratched they are? You're like, oh, I have that card, and you go to look it up, you find it, and you're like, wow. This is just valuable to me at this point. This is how scratched it is. Look at that. All right, so we got the Espeon V Black Star promo. Comes with every one of these tens. It's that's a super dope card there. Who's got all the EV evolution uh, cards? I'm curious. Uh, I certainly don't. Seems seems like there's a lot of them these days. Uh, post a pic in the comments if you can do that. Uh, yeah, post a picture of all the EV evolution cards. That'd be sweet. I'd love to see a full completed collection on those. Right, da, da, da. get the four in the front. Like I said about the code cards, we get to a thousand. I'm gonna be showing them all off, giving them all for you guys. Right, Voltorb. The original 150 Pokemon for me, guys. That's the best. All right, Eevee Reverse. Oh, oh, look at that, you guys. We got a Tyranitar V. That is just sick right there. Oh yeah. See, that's a good pull right there. That makes a 10 already worth it for me. I know it's not worth that much. Let me know in the comments how much this is worth ungraded. And, uh, but yeah, right there, that's just worth it for me. I like the time ran Damn. All right. Moving on to a brilliant stars packs. We'll get that right out of there. And, uh,. Yes, I actually recently just got a, a sealed booster box of the Brilliant Stars, and I'm going to be doing a live, possibly live, or just a video of the whole, unboxing the whole thing, and seeing if we get some crazy pulls. So you'll have to tune in for that. All right, let's see what we get. Firefetch, that's a dope artwork right there. Reverse. And we got no hollow. That would have been so awesome. Love the artwork on that. Would have been a beautiful hollow. We got brilliant stars. Love the Charizard pack art. That is just. That's just good stuff. All right. Moving on through. Moving through these. Four to the front. Let's go. Fire energy. Heating up. We're heating up in here. We're about to get some good pulls. All right, got my Squirtle light in the background. I just love some good, uh, some good artwork on these Pokemon. Magmar was sick. All right, reverse, and we got Flygon non hollow. That would have been a beautiful hollow. The last two, if they were hollows, would have been sweet. All right, brilliant stars. For the finish, here we go. Last pack. Can we get something good out of here? So far, we got just uh, the Tyranitar V card. And like I said, that one does it for me. All right, here we go. V star. Did I do the trick wrong? I think I did the trick wrong. Right, Chimchar, what a good Pokemon. Magmar reverse. I'm happy about that. All right, good luck. 
all right Lum luminion all right that's that's a dope pile that's a dope full art v card right there but i don't think that's gonna fetch us a good price all right come to the end on that one like i said the tyranitar that made it worth it for me i'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on this and uh yeah look at that it looks like squirtle's chasing it all right you guys unsealed legends make sure to subscribe and till next time till next video we're gonna be doing something exciting for the next one so make sure you do not miss it